If I didn't have to face my father's death, I might have been just a classical pianist, a classical composer. He took his own life. I wanted to break everything, I wanted to punch everything. I was so sad and so angry, so screaming every day. Instead of just being sad, being just depressed, I decided to write lyrics or decided to compose music. I mean, some kind of art came from pain. Then I started listening to rock. Then I went to punk rock, then heavy metal, hard rock. They also I liked David Boy a lot. I was about to quit music when Hide, you know, Hide guitar player, uh, passed away. But I said I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't want to even hear the word X. But my fans just kept supporting us, supporting me, you know? So almost unconditionally for over 10 years. So that's the reason he came back on stage. I think my fans are my biggest inspiration. When we first came to America, which is a long time ago, so we signed with the um, label called Atlantic Record. A and R P uh, person uh, say you have to decide the direction. So either play hard or play soft. That you can do both in, in this in in this country. Like really, but I didn't listen to that. You know. So I want to take people to some kind of journey. Also, like Japan's show, you know, not the festival, but pretty long. Like we play like somewhere around three hours. So if you keep playing like really loud and fast song for three hours people will leave. <laughs> she asked me a long time ago about the um, Kiss tribute album called Kiss My Ass. <laughs> what a name, huh? <laughs> uh, did a um, Kiss song called Black Diamond arranged it to a piano concerto. So, that was the first time we worked together. Then we became friends since then. I mean, Kiss kind of changed my life. So I was, was like almost like dreaming, like working with them. I somehow I was thinking before this documentary, everything, I was just dreaming. I mean, not, having a nightmare. It was just, that was just illusion. It didn't happen to my life. Then when I watched the first time, I was like, whoa, that really happened. Made me realize that was a true story. It was, it was almost too crazy to be true. My father's death, uh, my guitar player's death, my bass player's death, my vocalist being brainwashed and joined the cult. It's almost too much. Pretty much every single moment, it was hard to talk and how to deal with the, the footage, well, especially Hide's funeral. It was not easy. I cried a lot. I still cry every time I watch the film. Like, when I watch the film, I have a like, box of tissue paper next to me. Okay, let's do it, you know? <laughs> that kind of tears kind of like washing my pain away. So it also washes my fear away. Also, a lot, a lot of fans and people came to me uh, because of the documentary. Some people said I was not about to kill myself, but decided to leave. Thank you. That's like, it made me cry. I'm glad we made the film, you know, it was you know, easy. We usually have like uh, our fans following us, wherever we go in the world. But the Coachella is interesting. It was so cool. I mean, I feel very honored to be part of an amazing festival. Some of the classical pianists were, were playing like my composition in Japan, you know, which is cool. Um, I've heard some like European metal bands or rock bands uh, covering our songs. Um, I don't know if I see any American bands covering our songs. Very soon. <laughs> After Coachella. <laughs>